Welcome to JC Engineering and Tech Card Drawing. Today we'll be discussing on how to produce the first room of a cone. But my right here is my question. This is the image, and then it's so also produce first the true shape, the plan, the development, and then the end elevation. So before I start, but my left here is I've already taking the liberty by drawing my vertical line and then my horizontal line so i'll start with my diagram here since the cone the diameter of the cone here is given to me as 50 so i'll use 25 millimeter as radius for me i'll be using 25 millimeter as radius so i'll I'll draw my circle. Now, I've succeeded in drawing my circle. I'll project my. I'll choose a line first of my choice. I'll draw horizontal line. Then, using my set square, I'll project. I'll project the edge of my circle to my horizontal line. succeeded in doing that then I'll call this point here point A and I'll call the other point point B now from my diagram having that the height of my cone is 60 millimeter so I'll measure 60 millimeter upward sixty millimeter upward then I'll put the point indicate it with a point or with a small mark get it with a mark just a little one and i'll call that point there point c and i'll join point c to point a the straight line also i'll join point b to point c with a straight line And then it says 20 millimeter, should take 20 millimeter upward. So I'll measure 20 millimeter upward. And then I'll indicate it with the center line. I'll indicate with the center line 20 millimeter. So also he said. 12 millimeter downward from point C. So I'll measure 12 millimeter downward for point C. And then I'll indicate it also with center line. And then you see it from points over here. I've got 12 millimeter, which use radius of 8 millimeter. So I'll measure 8 millimeter. Measure 8 millimeter, place it at the, let me call this point here point D, point of the intersection, point D, and then I'll draw an arc touching the two sides of my cone. Touching the two sides of my cone. Then I'll outline my triangle. But first, now we have to place a square of 20 millimeter each side is square of each side which have 20 millimeter now what you need to do is just take another portion of your construction sheet then you construct a square as i've done here then you make you join the diagonals together then you measure the distance and you see it's giving me 29 then you divide it by 2 29 divided by 2 to give you 14.5 then you measure 14.5 measure 14.5 place it at this point let me call this point here point d1 place it at point d1 describe an arc up 
and down scribe and arc at the sides also then you join each of these points together After doing that, you discover that each side are 20 millimeter distance, equal, equal distance of 20 millimeter. Then you outline. We've succeeded in outlining our image. The next thing we'll do, we'll divide our circle into 12 equal number of parts. We've succeeded in dividing our circle into 12 equal number of parts. So we number our circle. The zero, one, two, three, four, five, and then zero. So we'll number this five, four, three, two, one, and zero. They will project each of this line upward to touch line AB. We succeeded in projecting our lines upward to touch line AB. So we project each of this line to touch line C, to touch point C. So we've succeeded in projecting each of our lines to touch point C. So now we are drawing our, we are done with our true shape, which is this, so on, on our plan. Now you move to, from our image over here, you find out that point zero, the line moved towards to point C without touching the, our image here. So the next is at line one, we discover that it hits our image here, so we'll project a line straight downward to hit line one. You discover it hits line one here, and then also here. Then the next thing we'll do, we'll move to point two. At point two, we're using our down image here, the down. At point two, we'll stretch. We'll draw a straight line to hit line two. Discover it hits line two here and then line two over here. Then we'll move to point four. We'll skip three first and move to four. We'll project a line straight to hit line four. Discover it hits line four, this place, and then line four here. Then we'll move to line five. Find out that line five touches the edge of a square then we draw a straight line to hit line 5 then it's hitting line 5 at this point and over here then you move to point 3 from our image you pick the midpoint at point d1 and you stretch it to the to line a b Then you transfer the distance from your midpoint of your circle upward and then downward. Then you outline. We succeeded in outlining the top and then we we'll outline the down, the bottom. We we'll succeeded in outlining the bottom part, so also we we'll move to this top. So if you trace it from point one, you find that it's still the same. Now at point two, the the line shifts, so we we'll project line two, project line two downward to hit line two. So where it hits line two, 
put a point and I'll put the point. We'll move to line four. Here yeah, hits line four, project the line straight and then put the point and then put the point. At line five, you find that they are sharing the same lines. So you trace So we're done tracing, then you outline. We are done tracing. So now we are not through with our plan. We still have a curve. So we'll move from point zero to line AB to point C. You find that it hits this curve here. Let me call this zero. Let me call this one, two, three, four, five, and then zero. It hits line zero here so project a straight line to hit line zero from the point it hits line zero so create a straight line and then it hits line zero we put the point indicate it with the point so at line one construct a straight line to hit line one hit line one here and then here put the point now at line two Project a straight line, hit line 2 over here and here. Now we we'll skip line 3, move to 4. At line 4, project a straight line, it hits line 4 here and here. At line 5, we we'll project a straight line from where it hits here at that point, that will project the line till it hits line 5 find that it hits line 5 here and here now at point 0 it 0 over here then project a straight line to hit line 0 which is this and hits line 0 here now at line 3 move your t square upward then you pick the distance between where your straight line hits the side of your cone to point 3 to point 3 you can see it then you bring it to your midpoint indicate it with the point with the point then you outline Now after outlining, after sketching, then you outline. And finally, we are done with our plan. So we're moving to our development, or they also call it pattern. So the next thing we'll do, open our compass, stretch, put our pin at point C, stretch to point A. Point C, at point C, stretch to point A. Then describe an arc. After striking an arc, we'll pick a distance from our cycle. They divided it into equal number of parts. Pick one of the distance. Pick one of the distance, then you transfer it to the arc we projected. We succeeded in transferring the distance to our marked. The distance to our arc so then we number the 0 1 2 3 4 5 is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 0 so we join each of these numbered points to point C 
with our rule, we join each of these number points to point C. We succeeded in joining the line to point C, each of these to point C to point C. And so the next thing we'll do is that we'll put our pin at point C here, and then we'll stretch our arc, extend it to point zero, find that it's touching point zero here, and it's also touching point zero this way and this way. So we'll project an arc project our line now this line wherever it hits point zero we'll put our point hit point zero here it hits this line zero here line zero we we'll put the point at line zero put another point now we'll stretch it to five or this five over here you can see we've numbered it here where it's five you can see it's also touching one so strike an arc at point five here strike the arc is also touching one here at point one so strike an arc so wherever we see line five put the point see line five we'll put our point also where we see line one put our point and then line one put our point then the next thing we'll do we'll move to point two and this also is touching point four also here and then point two describe our arc now wherever you see a line two put the point here wherever you see line two put your point also where you see line four Put a point where you see line four. You also put a point. Now at point three. Here at point three, we we'll project a line. So we we'll locate wherever we we'll see line three. Put a point. We'll put the point you discover at line three is only touching line three here we only have one line three so at line with the sketch we we'll join each of these points with the sketch and then we outline we have succeeded in outlining it so the next thing we'll move into this portion, but let's number this. Now you find that at point zero, when it hits line A, B to line point C, it didn't touch our image. Now the next one is at line one, when it hits line A, B, project to line C, it touch our image here. So we'll call this point here one. At line two, when it hits line A, B, coming to point C, it hits our image here we'll call this two this point here three also for four call this point here point four and therefore line five call this here five so similarly the number here here is two here is three here is four and then five so bring our pin a compass place that point C and then we'll stretch to let we'll move from one stretch to one then we'll strike our arc now we'll go move to where we see line one we'll put the point line one we'll put a point now we'll also move to point two Then subscribe an arc. Now we'll locate line two. Put a mark. Locate line two. Put a point. Also move to line three. Here we see line three. Put a point. Line three. Put 
our point. We move to line 0.4 and then we discover that point 0.4 is sharing the same distance as 2 as line 2. So we move here and locate 4. Put a point, locate 4. Put our point. Also move to 5 and 1 is sharing the same arc here. Yeah. 5 and 1 is sharing the same arc. So look for point 5. Line 5. Put the point. At line 5, we put our point. So sketch. We've done sketching. So also from point C, place our pin at C, then we'll stretch to, let me do this with our understanding better, 4 and 2, sharing the same point, so we'll stretch, you can see it's coming from 4, touching 2, and the arc went through, so we'll locate line 2, put the point, line 2, put our point, also line 4, Put a point, also locate line 4, put a point. Next thing we do, we move to line 3. Line 3 is only 1. Here you can see this line 3 here is 1. So we we'll locate line 3, put a point, locate line 3, put a point. Then we we'll sketch. We've done sketching then we outline we are done outlining and we are done with our development or call it pattern the next thing we are moving to our end elevation for our end elevation you see we we'll pick a point of our choice on line a b and then we indicate a straight line now using our set square 45 degree we draw a straight line which is 45 degree now at line 0 we indicate with the center line once it hits a uh, 45 degree we project upward Project upward with the center line. We've succeeded in projecting a line upward. So call this point here, this line, 0, 0. Now we project our lines from, from line 3, this point 3 here. Project it once it hits. A 45 degree project it to hit a uh, extended line AB and they will call this line 3. They will do same project from these points 1 and 5. Once it hits a uh, 45 degree, we project upward and they will call the line 1, comma. Five. We've, we've done for zero move downward and that will project our line one and five once it hits a 45 degree we project up and that will call this line one comma five we we'll do for two and four for two and four project Once it's our uh, 45 degree, project upward. So call this line 2, 4. And finally, at 
0.3 we draw a straight line once you see that 45 degree then project upward to hit our extended line AB which we call this line 3 we we'll move our T square upward and then we we'll draw a straight line from point C to hit our vertical center line. So each of these line numbered here will project it to hit line project to hit point C one. So we've done joining joining each of these numbered line to line to point C one here. So the next thing we'll do is that we'll move to our image from my left, we'll project line zero. So we'll have line zero here. We'll project it to my right. It'll we'll come over here where there's line zero. Put the point. Now project point two and four. Project it to my right. Wherever we we'll see line here, we we'll see two comma four. So put a point here at two. Also, a point here at two. Sorry for that. At point zero here, we we'll project our line, and then we we'll put a point here. Now we we'll move to one. Now you see here there's point one here and five. So project a line at point one. Look for line one here. There's line one here and then line five here. Also, we we'll move upward again. We we'll project a line. Find that is touching line two and four. So we have two comma four here. Put a point. We also have two comma four here. We we'll put a point. Now we we'll have the last, which is point three. Stretch over here. We we'll find that I will have line three here, and then line three over here. Then we we'll outline. Sketch first. And then we we'll outline. So we've done outlining. So now this is our image here at the middle of our cone. We move to point three to stretch the straight line. Then we we'll locate line three. We we'll have line three here. Sorry, we we'll have line three here. Look at it. Line three over here and line 3 here so move to 2 and 4 project the straight line and then this is 2 comma 4 put the point this is 2 comma 4 we we'll put a second point they will move to 1 and 5 we we'll draw a straight line we move to 1 comma 5 put the point 1 comma 5 Put off point. We we'll also move downward here now, which is two and four. We'll draw a straight line. We'll look for two comma four. Put the point two comma four. Put our next point. Now we'll move to line three. We we'll draw a straight line. Move to line three here. We'll put a point at line three here. We'll put a point then. We sketch after sketching, we then outline while outlining. We're done in outlining our uh, points which are sketched. Then we'll outline the parts that need to be visible. Also, I need to be outlined. 
we're done outlining thank you for watching i still remain jc engineering and technical drawing don't forget to give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel